Hello everyone, welcome back to another Tech Tip with Zach. Today I want to talk about bitstream duplication, typically used in computer forensics. Uh, in this case we're talking about the DD um, process of duplication. So um, you're faced with a situation where you have a drive, in this case we'll use a USB, that you want to duplicate you want to ensure the integrity of that duplicate working file. How do you do that? So let's go ahead and get started. First, notice that I have a USB drive already uh, mounted. And we can confirm that, of course, by saying DF-H. And here we have that mount. OK, great. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to check the um, MD5 sum of that drive. And we can do that by doing sudo MD5 sum and then the name uh, here of that particular file. And here, so we'll say slash dev slash sdb1. Of course, it wants a password. Okay, great. So here is our hash of the USB. It's the hash of this particular drive. And we can also do a SHA sum the same way. So we say SHA sum slash dev slash sdb1. We've already entered our pseudo password, so it should just go ahead and give it to us. Great. So here's our SHA. And here's our MD5. So now what we want to do is we want to make a forensic, a forensic copy, a direct duplication of the entire drive. And we can accomplish that by saying sudo dd and then our input file. That's what if stands for, input file. And that would be dev slash sdb1. In this case, we want to bit stream copy the entire drive. Now, if you were just doing a file, you would have the file name there. Uh, one thing we want to check real quick before we do that, let's go ahead and change to our desktop. So that way, when we create our um, direct duplicate file, um, it's easy to find. All right, so we'll go ahead and say sudo. Then the next part what that we want to do is dd input file slash dev slash sdb1 and now we want our output file and in this case uh, we'll go ahead and call that usb.dd now you can name it anything you want um, they say in forensics make sure you name it something that's understandable um, that's just a general good naming convention the other thing is this dot dd is not required but it does tell you how you got that file. Okay, So we'll go ahead and hit enter. It'll take a moment. Notice it created the USB.dd file. Has this padlock on it showing that it's direct duplication. And notice that nothing is happening right now. It's actually creating and transferring bit by bit each file. Great. So now it tells us that uh, we have 1.96 etc bytes in or bits in excuse me it's an exact there are um, those are all sectors uh, so here's all the sectors here's the bytes it looks like 1 billion 007 yeah so 1 billion or 1 gigabyte it was copied here is the uh, time it took and here was the transfer now you need to confirm that this copy is identical to the original and you do that again by doing um, here you do not need to use the sudo the sudo command is to access the um, the extra mounted drive but you can say md5 sum and the name USB We'll let that process. And let's go ahead and do the SHA sum as well. Great. Now, 
uh, normally you would be um, piping these to a document or saving them somewhere in order to demonstrate that they are correct but we can look at it real quick we can say here the last four is F2C5 that's the MD5 FC25 again so the MD5 hashes match and of course you can use a compare uh, there's a lot of ways to confirm those but this is just a simple eyeball and again here we can say 5BCFA4 5BCFA4 so we can confidently say that this USB.dd file is an exact bit by bit copy of this USB hope this helps thank you for your time if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and the like button and as always happy coding